Our next speaker, Dan Williams. The Journey. The Journey. Dan Williams. <laughs> How many of you read the Bible, the Quran, the Tenex? Anybody? Good, a lot of it. Inspirational, isn't it? I came across a story in the Bible a couple months ago, kind of interesting. A landowner was going on an extended trip, so he called three of his employees into his office and said, I'm leaving, I'll be back in about a year. But I'm going to give each of you a gold coin. And then he left. He came back a little over a year later. And he called his three employees into his office and he said, Well, how did you do with that gold coin? Well, two of us woke up quite proud of themselves and said they invested it and got two to threefold back on their investment. The third individual was asked, What did you do with yours? He said, I buried it because I was afraid that I might lose it and you'd get mad at me. Well, the landowner rewarded the two that did well with their investments. In fact, he gave them each their own individual farm so they were now self-sufficient. But for the person who buried the coin, he was kicked off the farm, he was kicked out of the place. and. He actually was banned from this whole area. Well, what does that mean? How do you interpret that? Well, I interpret that gold coin as being potential. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. I've got it. Everybody has potential. Everybody has a gold coin. Some of us use it. Some don't. Some disregard it. But a lot of us don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, and they need some help with their potential to unleash it. They get a mentor, and or they go to these motivational seminars. How many of you have been to a motivational seminar, goal setting type deal? Boy, they're wild, aren't they? <laughs> you guys get up in front of you on their yachts and yelling and screaming about Writing down your goals that goals mean nothing if you don't write them down. They're just fantasy. So pretty soon the whole audience goes, write them down, write them down, write them down. So what do you do with your goals? You write them down. Write them down, right. You write them down. Pretty soon there's chaos going on in the auditorium. I think I'm at a revival meeting. I even threw in a couple amens. Now goal setting works, doesn't it? If you follow your plan and write down your goals, your weekly, your monthly goals, it's a proven success. I say. Now, the trick is, of course, to write your goals down and not be afraid of reaching for the moon when you do this. Plan your work, work your plan, and success will be yours. Simple, isn't it? Accountability, discipline, it can lead to many things, many successes for you. However, there's more to your self-worth than the ringing of the cash register of success. Isn't there? Oh, it's nice to have money to buy things for the family and to buy stuff. Are we forgetting our spirituality and becoming a complete human being? Remember the biblical saying, now abideth, faith, hope, and charity. These three, charity is number one, love. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Do unto others as you do unto you. Be a good citizen. A good person. Spirituality is a big part of life, I think. 
It completes the circle of life and is probably the most important part of our existence. Now, life isn't easy, is it? There are many pitfalls along the way that tend to block our successes. So shortcuts are taken. Trust get built. Love is weakened. But that's life. We must get back on track. <clears throat> our lives are our responsibility. I came across a poem by that famous author, I know mm -hmm. that I think can help us in our journey through life, from the potential, the motivational, and to successes. When you get what you want in your struggle for self, and the world makes you king for a day, just go to a mirror and ask yourself what that man has to say. Now, I don't know about you, but I go to a mirror, I cringe and look around. I don't want to see that guy that I thought was 25 years old. 30? 40? <laughs> Talk about being intimidated. However, he's got my soul. He's got my soul. Well, that's a big thing. I don't know about you, but I don't like looking at that mirror. But I have to be held to accountable. So, you may fool the whole world down the pathway to your years and get pass on the back as you pass. But if your final reward is heartache and tears, you cheated that man in the glass. By unleashing your potential, getting and staying and motivated, your financial, personal, and spiritual goals will be obtained. Your life is your responsibility. So what are you doing? with your gold coin. Man, trust my